Now, the New Haven Police Department is saying goodbye to one of their own. A procession was held for Officer Diane Gonzalez. She died on Monday after a crash put her in a coma back in 2008. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Aaron Edwards was right there as officers gathered to pay their respects. Aaron is live right now from New Haven with more. Aaron. Mark, hundreds of officers lined highway streets and overpasses all to honor Officer Diane Gonzalez as they brought her from Bradley Airport back home here to New Haven. To be able to bring her home in this way, to be able to honor her like she should be honored, um, we're thankful. Tonight, a sea of red and blue lights line the streets to honor the life of 13-year veteran Officer Diane Gonzalez. I think this hit us very hard because this happened so long ago and uh, it's, it's tragic that we forget those that are that close to us and who went through something that important. In 2008, Officer Gonzalez and Sergeant Dario Scott Aponte were responding to a domestic dispute when their cruisers collided. Sergeant Aponte was killed instantly, but police say Officer Gonzalez suffered a traumatic brain injury and slipped into a coma. She died on Monday. She always had kind words for people, and she was truly, truly an amazing person, an amazing police officer. Retired officers who worked with Officer Gonzalez say the thing they'll remember most was her smile. She wore a smiley face on her uniform as she worked the midnight shift. A night like this, cold, you're tired, and Diane was always smiling. She just had a way about her, a, a smile on her face all the time, but with a, with a steadfast sternness to her. Uh, that that was unbending. Officer Gonzalez is survived by her son, two daughters, and her grandchildren. I'm so happy that her kids got to see how much we loved her, the city of New Haven. Right now, there's no word on when there will be a funeral for Officer Gonzalez, but officers tell us they plan to make that announcement tomorrow. Reporting live in New Haven, Erin Edwards, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Certainly a beautiful turnout for her family, Erin. Thank you very much for that.